Dr. Moonstein here. I want to demonstrate this noise contraption I got here. Um, it's got a bunch of stuff to go over, so I'm going to go over the controls and what all it entails, and I'll, then I'll give you a demo of what it sounds like. Um, you can make a ridiculous amount of noise with this thing, so gonna be I'm gonna make it as brief as as possible um, try not to keep the video too long but go ahead and give you a quick rundown um, you've got your sequencer section that's this right here um, you've got a magnetic patch bay uh, that is patches the control voltage of the sequencer to the synth section that is a VCO and an LFO and you can also sequence the different octave effects at the bottom here now these octave effects can be triggered momentary push button for a little burst or they can be sustained on so the sequencer when this switch is on will sequence through these different octaves and this will change the pitch of the VCO and LFO itself. The black ones mess with the LFO and the yellow ones mess with the VCO and this is kind of a subtle change in sound. It's not quite as defined as these. Some settings is more defined than others um, you have you're powered by a 9 volt DC negative tip power supply um, you'll have to get one of these uh, I'm using a one spot um, that's a 1500 uh, milliamp power supply you don't need a 1500 milliamp power supply um, like a boss or anything not anything but basic you know the basic standard uh, guitar pedal power supply that's DC and 9 volts and has a negative tip on it and it's got to fit in the jack but it's pretty standard um, it's got an audio input quarter inch audio output quarter inch you have a momentary on off for your synth section um, this little toggle right here will sustain on your toggle section or your synth section and I already told you you have your momentary push buttons for your different octaves and this toggle switch turns the sequencer in and out of your synth section so if I have it on you won't really hear anything until I